A popular technique in integer linear programming is the tightening of linear programming relaxations using cutting planes. We are going to look at an example that illustrates one type of cutting planes. Consider the integer linear programming problem shown here. We call that the linear programming relaxation of this problem is simply the problem without the integer requirements on the variables. And the linear programming relaxation for this problem can easily be solved graphically. So let's first give a sketch of the feasible region of the linear programming relaxation. The first constraint looks like this. And the second constraint looks like this. So the feasible region for the linear programming relaxation is this shaded area here. Now, if we are looking at the integer solutions, they will correspond to the integer points in this shaded region. Since we are minimizing x plus y, we can do this graphically by first drawing the line corresponding to x plus y equal to some constant and gradually decrease the constant. And if we draw x plus y equal to 2, it will look like this. And if we decrease to 1, the line will move down to here. Now we keep moving until we get to the point where moving further will get us out of the feasible region. And so we'll see that it stops right here. And this point here is an optimal solution to the linear programming relaxation. And we can work out what this point is. So it's the intersection of the two lines, 2x plus y equals 2, and minus x plus 2y equals minus 2. And if you work this out, you'll get the point 6 over 5 and minus 2 over 5. Now, this solution does not satisfy all the constraints for our original problem. And in fact, if we look at the picture, we see that there's no feasible solution to our original problem that has a negative y value. And now we're going to see how we can derive this fact. So if I label this constraint 1 and this 2, and take 1 plus 2 times 2, in other words, I'm adding 1 times the left-hand side of 1 to 2 times the left-hand side of 2, and that gives us 5y. And the right-hand side is 1 times 2 plus 2 times negative 2. And that is simply negative 2. So any solution that satisfies these constraints must also satisfy this inequality. Multiplying both sides by 1 fifth, we get y greater than or equal to negative 2 over 5. But we know that y is required to be an integer. And here, this is a number bigger than negative 1, but less than 0. So what we can conclude from here is that y must be at least 0, since y is an integer. And so every xy satisfying these constraints must also satisfy this inequality. And now we can add this inequality to our linear programming relaxation. So I can now say that we are looking at points that satisfy these inequalities. And if we solve the resulting linear programming relaxation, we'll see that the optimal solution is given by 1, 0. And this solves our original problem. The argument that we have just used can be applied more generally. Suppose that we have a system, a squared equal to b, where x is required to have all integer entries. And here a is an m by n matrix, b is an m tuple. If we have an m tuple d with non-negative entries such that d transpose times a has only integer entries, then d transpose times a times x greater than the ceiling of d transpose times b is satisfied by all solutions to the system S. Recall that the ceiling of a number, gamma, is the least integer greater than or equal to gamma. So for example, the ceiling of 2.7 
is 3 and the ceiling of negative 1.5 is negative 1. So this inequality here is called a Hwata-Gomery cutting plane.